Zungo Zungo Go Zungo Zeng. Nobody move, nobody get hurt. I'm getting married in the morning. Yo, this is King Yellow Man, King of Dance Hall. I am here with the original, and I have to repeat that. Okay, viewers, come close, come close, tune in. The original king of the dance hall, the one and only Yellow Man. Yellow Man, welcome to Canada. Well, we can't even say welcome because I know you've been here a bunch of times, yeah. but I have to say welcome to Caribbean Beats. Yeah, man. It, um, why may I tell you? It's so nice in Canada because the people them always support me. Vancouver, Montreal, Toronto, Winnipeg, Calgary, Ottawa, uh, Victoria, actually I'm going to Victoria Sunday. Mm. Yeah, you're going to Victoria Sunday and I have to just... Uh... Not, not Victoria's Secret. Oh. <laughs> Okay, not Victoria Secret, it's going to Victoria, meaning Victoria, BC. You got that? All right, just want to clear that up. Yeah. So, now I know Mr. King of the Dance at Yellowman, you came on the scene in 1974, and yeah. you got a little bigger in Jamaica, we say, you mash up the place, okay, in 1981 by winning the Tasty Talent Contest. Yeah. Now, after that, you have been um, such an inspiration in dancehall, and you have maintained your longevity in dancehall. How how have you done that for so many years? Well, um, three things. One, you always keep the song. You don't switch. Two, the people them love and respect the car. And three, they know all the ads that I got you. And I'm still here doing it. I mean, I'm not stop. You know, that's true, and you know, it's so funny, a lot of artists, we, we have interviewed and also seen interviews, and one of them was Shined, who said that, um, you know, what inspired me to come into music was seeing that you perform a performance for you in New York, and that was his inspiration to go into music. I just want you to... Um, Answer and let our viewers know. I know that you know that you're such an inspiration to not only Jamaica but artists around the world. How do you see yourself for that? Because now I know that um, there are so much people wanting to be role models, are saying that they're role models in the music. Do you, do you see yourself as a role model? Because so much artists have you as an inspiration. Yeah, well, you know, I'm a person that people look up to. You know, and get them inspiration because three ninety five percent of the rap artists they're inspired by me. Absolutely. Like P Daddy, you know, um not with PIG, people like Tupac, Easy, Ice Q, Ice T, you know. Snoop Doggy. <laughs> yeah. no. You know, um, yes. African Mamata, Doggy Fresh, LL Cool J, Young MC, Tone Lock, Randy MC, you know, KRS One many more you know yeah i'm so glad you say that because for a lot of people that don't know rap hip-hop pop music is actually inspired by reggae music so i'm right. glad right for real <laughs> so and, i have and sorry. they know that they must know that right and i have the king of dancehall himself saying that so you better believe it that's a fact Right. Now, with saying that, um, Yellow Man, now, in music right now, um, and I'm going to go there because you yeah, are Mr. Yeah. Profanity, so right. when we talk right. about trend setting in music, right. and you see a lot of these upcoming artists now picking up um, some of the trends that you said when it comes to vulgarity and, right. tr and um, uh, being um, vulgar in music, um, and, you know, just going there with profanity. Um, how do you see 
how do you see um, yourself as an influencer and do you think that they are either A, doing the same thing you're doing or they are devi deviating from that? No, I would say them, they're diverting from what I do because what I do, when I was talking sex lyrics, people used to enjoy and people used to come out and see me. But now, these artists, they're very vulgar. They say it nasty, you know? <laughs> you know, yellow man, a lot of artists blame me, though, you know, you know, we have done some interviews yeah, I know. before. <laughs> I know, I know. We have done some interviews before, they say, hey, don't blame me for vulgarity, blame yellow man. Shabazz even said that, that don't blame me for anything, you know, blame yellow man, because he started the profanity. So I just really had to go there, but... Yeah, but, but me never, <laughs> me never throw the gay. You understand? Yeah, that's true. Me, me always um, do it in a comedian way, you know? Yeah. Just like Mighty Sparrow, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, just so you know that you're a little bit blamed for that. I know, I know, I know, because she has sing a song about it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah so um, I want you to know that, um, honestly, this is such a pleasure for me to meet you. I want you to know that you're such an inspiration to myself as a Jamaican living here in Canada. And I can say that for my fellow Jamaican in the community and seeing you perform on stage tonight and just seeing the love, honestly, I just want you to know that it really touched me. And I know that you know that you're loved here, but yeah, I man. but I also want you to know that you're a true, true inspiration um, for the culture of reggae for Jamaica when you go around you represent Jamaica in a positive way not a negative way right. and what I want to ask you is how can some of these artists right now that are traveling promote themselves in probably a better light to make people think more positive about uh, Jamaica um, first of all one they don't have any discipline. You understand? Three. They price themselves out of the business. Four. They're not on time. You understand? And five. They can't tour. Because if you notice, every show, them um, promote with the young artists them. It's either 10 or 20 of them on the show. Them want to on tour because they don't have a show. They can't do a show, they do concert because they can't people. You understand? That's why they do concert. You know, I'm, I thank you for those words. And I know that uh, growing up uh, in Jamaica, and you growing up in an orphanage, and um, make it out and have are such an international status um, in Jamaica, not only in Jamaica but around the world. What message would you have for upcoming youth right now that is struggling and really want to get to? I'm not even gonna say your status because I don't know when he's gonna get to that, but get to some type of a status so he's recognized. What is your message? to him? First of all, I want them to do good music. You understand? Know they want a longevity in you know this business. They want to do good music. Because people, people around the world say, Bam Mali one, Yellow Man two. So, you have to do good music. Especially when you, you just come out, you know, I think, but sometimes them change, you know, because some of them come out with a turban, then after that, them, them look like pearls, you understand? Yeah. yeah, so. So I know that you said you're going to go to Victoria, not Victoria's Secret, mm -hmm. after this. Where else will you be traveling throughout Canada? Uh, we actually finishing up now. Okay. So we are finishing Victoria. Tomorrow we're in Seattle. So we're finishing up. Okay. Uh, we're on the road from June. 
Wow, wow. No wonder you're like feeling a little bit below the weather, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. I just want to say, yellow man, you're doing some move on stage today and you're so acrobatic. I gotta go get myself in the gym tomorrow because I can't do some of those moves. I just wanted to say what a pleasure it was um, to sit down with you. You know, it's so funny. I have to tell you, I was a little bit intimidated because I was like, oh, this is the king of dance or the king of dance man. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. No, this you know, is I'm the finished. one and only yellow man. No, you're not, you're not supposed to intimidate it because you look like Oprah. Woo! Oh, thank you, thank you. Come in closer, come in closer, come in closer. Thank you very much. But you don't have the money. <laughs> oh, God, oh, God, I don't miss so bad. Okay, but I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to get there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're not only a beautiful person inside and out, you're a true comedian. You keep me laughing. Yeah, you keep the, the, the crowd pump. It's my pleasure and honor to have met you, yeah, Mr. Thank the you. original, original King of Dancehall, the one and only Yellow Man. Thank you so much. Respect every time. You. Respect you know? every time. Every respect, time. respect. Respect, Oprah. <laughs> Oprah. Oprah. <laughs> Respect, Oprah. <laughs> Oprah, Oprah, but not with the money, but I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Oprah. I'm trying. <laughs> Oprah will burn. I love you, Vancouver. I love you, Canada. I love you, America. I love you, Jamaica. I love you, France. I love you.